In this video section, we will demonstrate how to perform a sensing threshold. But first, let's review the functionality of the dials and buttons on the 53401 single chamber temporary pacemaker. The on off button is located here. This is the lock unlock button. Pacing rate is adjusted using this dial. This is the dial to adjust the pacing output in milliamps. This is the dial to adjust sensitivity in millivolts. These are the controls for rapid atrial pacing. This is the battery indicator. This is the lock indicator. This is the green light which indicates pacing when flashing. This is the blue light which indicates sensing when flashing. First we'll review the basics of sensing. For the pacemaker to pace at the appropriate time, it needs to sense the patient's intrinsic rhythm adequately. Sensing is like a fence. The higher the number, the less sensitive. The lower the number, the more sensitive it is. When a fence is set low, more is seen on the other side of the fence. The higher the fence, the less is seen. This is true for sensing. With lower numbers, more will be seen. With higher numbers, less is sensed. Appropriate sensing results in every heartbeat being properly sensed. This means that when the lead or wire is located in the atrium, all P waves are sensed. And when the lead or wire is located in the ventricle, all R waves are sensed. It also means nothing extra is sensed, such as a T wave, which would be interpreted as a heartbeat. To perform the sensing threshold test, first turn on the temporary pacemaker without connecting it to the patient lead system. Ensure the patient is connected to an ECG you can monitor during the testing. When the temporary pacemaker is initially turned on, it will begin sensing and pacing in AAI or VVI mode with nominal values of a rate of 80 ppm, output of 10 milliamps, and sensitivity at 2 millivolts. In this example, we will determine the ventricular sensing threshold in a patient who has an underlying rhythm of 50 beats per minute. The temporary pacing lead or wires are in the ventricle. Recall the definition of the sensing threshold is the least sensitive setting at which the pacemaker can detect a heartbeat. The sensitivity setting allows you to control the pacing mode between synchronous or demand pacing and asynchronous pacing, also referred to as AOO, VOO. Notice the range on the sensitivity dial goes from the most sensitive setting of 0.4 millivolts to a setting labeled async. When set to async, the sensitivity is set to a value so high that no underlying intrinsic signal can be detected. Therefore, to pace asynchronously, set the sensitivity dial to async. To pace VVI or AAI, the sensitivity setting must be set so the device detects the underlying rhythm. Set the rate to at least 10 ppm under the patient's intrinsic rate. So in this example, we will set the rate to 40 ppm. To reduce the risk of competitive pacing, decrease the output to the minimum value of 0.1 milliamp. Plug the pacing cable into the socket located on the connector block on top of the temporary pacemaker. Verify that the cable end clicks when it is inserted into the temporary pacemaker connection. The audible click signifies that the plug is completely inserted into the receptacle. Note the sense indicator is flashing, which means the device is detecting the R wave. In other words, the R wave is at least 2 millivolts. Monitor the patient's ECG to ensure the sense indicator matches the device lights. Slowly turn the sensitivity dial clockwise which increases the millivolt value until the sense indicator stops flashing. The pace indicator flashes continuously, but capture is not likely because the output value is set to the minimum. Next, increase the sensitivity by slowly turning the dial counterclockwise, which decreases the millivolt value until the sense indicator starts flashing. The pace indicator then stops flashing. This is the ventricular sensing threshold. 
set the sensitivity dial to half or less of the threshold value. This setting provides at least a 2 to 1 safety margin for sensing. The same process can be completed for an atrial sensing threshold, assuming that the pacing lead or wire is in the atrium. Let's discuss oversensing and undersensing based on the sensitivity settings. Oversensing results in underpacing. Let's say the sensitivity is set at 2 millivolts and the device is sensing both the R wave and the T wave. This will result in a pacing rate less than 60 paces per minute because the device resets the timer based on the last sensed event and the T wave is being counted as an event even though it does not represent QRS. Let's say the patient's R wave is 6 millivolts, but the sensitivity is set at 7 millivolts. A higher sensitivity number makes the device less sensitive, meaning it is less likely to see an R wave. In this case, the device will never see the 6 millivolt R waves, only R waves greater than 7 millivolts. Therefore, the device behavior is similar to VOO mode, pacing asynchronously. In this video, we'll review how to perform pacing stimulation thresholds on the 53401 temporary pacemaker. The 53401 may provide either atrial or ventricular pacing. A stimulation threshold test is performed to determine how much energy is needed to consistently provide pacing. When there is consistent tissue depolarization, it is considered the stimulation threshold. A threshold test should be performed as part of the preparation for use when using the 53401 temporary pacemaker on a patient. The sensing threshold test should be performed first. Once the device is connected to the patient, Verify you have proper sensing by checking the cardiac monitor and the device. Now we are ready to perform a ventricular threshold test. This patient has an underlying rhythm. Remember, throughout this testing, you'll want to watch the ECG monitor and the device. First, increase the rate to at least 10 paces per minute above the patient's intrinsic rate. Next, turn the output to 10 milliamps. Verify that you see a rhythm consistent with pacing on the cardiac monitor as well as the pace indicator on the device. Slowly decrease the milliamps by turning the output dial counterclockwise until the ECG shows loss of capture. Watch the pace and sense indicators to see if the device is sensing and pacing consistent with the ECG monitor. Next, Slowly increase the milliamps until the ECG shows consistent capture. The pace indicator will flash continuously and the sense indicator will stop flashing. This is the stimulation or pacing threshold. Set the pacing output to a value at least two to three times greater than the pacing threshold value. Since the threshold is one milliamp, set the output at two to three milliamps.